Hello there everyone, I am Henry from Henry's Fossils and in today's video we will be cleaning some balemnites um, with some vinegar. Now if you want to do this then you can watch till the end of the video where I will tell you how to do it. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos from me. Thank you. So um, the experiment is to put these balemnites in some vinegar and it will hopefully get the matrix off which is that brown stuff there. It will hopefully um, dissolve that because the acid in the vinegar will hopefully dissolve it. And um, yeah, let's try it I guess. So I'm just going to take some off. Very good belief. <laughs> so, um, yeah. This one's bubbling quite a bit. Then there's one there, which is bubbling. That's cool, it is dissolving them, like dissolving the matrix and stuff. That's cool. Okay, and now we have some other fossils, like this um, brachiopod um, that looks a bit like a turtle you've got this brachiopod this ammonite chunk and then we have a oops, tiny little brachiopod as well an absolutely tiny one so we'll put this one in a separate tub one Two and three. And fit. There we go. We have got one animal and one made. There we go. So um, and then in the third tub, we will have this very nice pyrite ammonite here, and to hopefully clean all the rock off the fossil and leave the pyrite so that we can polish it later on. There we go. Yeah, that one's bubbling quite a bit. Yeah, bubbly. So is the ammonite um, chunk. Hmm, that one is. It's like. No. Okay, um. So we are going to leave these here for one hour. And then. And we will see how they have done. So uh, the majority of balemnites are looking way better than they did before we did this. Um, like this one here. Right. This one looks very nice. Very very nice. So do the um, rest of the balemnites that we have. The one that we sh showed you at the beginning of the video, though, um, the stuff like there, the the brown stuff, hasn't actually came off that much. But um, but um, if you like get your fingers onto it, it does flake off a bit. So it has done something to all the balemnites. There was one in particular, very, very dirty one. You can find that. Um, I think this was it, and it looks very nice now. It looks very beautiful. Um, and yeah, pretty much all of the Bellemnites have like been way better than they were. And if we move on to the second tub, then there was the big ammonite chunk. And then, as you can see, the stone has, like, on this side, has melted, like, dissolved away quite a lot. And then, like, no, this, on, like, that, that bit there 
has like dissolved a bit like and then on this side there was like less stone and it, and you can see where we, where the individual pieces would have been like connected like the bone structure of the ammonite so that is that is nice and then there is the um brachiopod the brachiopod yeah yeah um and you can see you can really um see the detail in it now because the clay that was inside of the cracks in it have now gone and so you can really see the detail in it now so that one is good and then oops <laughs> there is the pyrite ammonite yes like we thought i think it has dissolved only the rock around it and if you look carefully there's still a lot of pyrite there so that is very nice so i'll put it in the water for a bit and then i'll take it back out oh yes you can you can definitely see the pyrite in it now definitely so um i think this experiment has been a success so um yeah so uh, we have just sanded um, a balemnite down, like some of it, and um, it's looking way better than it did um, when we put it in the vinegar and when before we put it in the vinegar. And um, we we have some like polishing compound that we are going to use to um, polish the um, balemnite some more and the ammonite chunks and the um, brachiopods. So, um, yeah. So, um, we will be using the Dremel, um, along with these polishing compounds, to polish up this balemnite here. And, um, yeah, let's do it, I guess. So um, this one was what it was like when it came out of the vinegar bath. It's very clean but still a bit dull. And then there's this one, which went through the polishing process, and it's very nice and shiny. And if I hold it up to the window, the light shines through it and it looks a bit translucent. So here we have the polished version of our bivalve. And compared to the unpolished doll version, it looks way shinier and has way more detail. So here is the ammonite that we um, put into the vinegar. And it's um, the vinegar has eaten away at it quite a bit. And it's turned into a bit of a powdery colour, which we didn't really want. So and if we would do it again, we would leave it in for less, less time. So here we have the ammonite part, and um, it's brought out many of the colours in it, and it's cleaned up quite nicely. But um, on this side here, um, it's actually made it, like, it's dissolved it a bit, so... Again, it's a bit of a mixed result. So, um, here we have our little brachiopod, and... Um, the vinegar helped soften the stone that was encasing it, and um, I managed to get it out with some small tools because of that. So it, this vinegar worked. And thanks so much for watching!